Hi, my name is Kathy Jones, and this is my Interpersonal Communication Project for Human Services 508. In slide one, I talk about the definition of interpersonal communication, which is any verbal or nonverbal communication between two or more people. It involves both talking and listening, and the ability to read others and to see things from their point of view. Communication is basically just getting your ideas across, and there are many verbal and nonverbal messages that we send when we communicate with e with each other. In slide two, my overarching goal for my life is to better understand myself in relationship to others, to be able to control and express my emotions appropriately, and to be able to listen more effectively without prejudging people. Being overly emotional hinders my ability to listen effectively. And I have to be careful not to make snap judgments about people or to stereotype them. And because this can either be positive or negative. And first impressions is what really uh, people tend to size people up before getting to know them. So I have to really pay more attention to my body language and my facial expressions and my tone of my voice. In slide three, enlarging the conversation, I have to be able to communicate with others on a more deeper level. Got to ask the right questions, give the right responses, and get a better understanding of what the issues are that are being discussed. And again, I have to not make snap judgments. Enlarging the conversation really means just trying to something new in order to communicate better. And so I must first work on how I first approach someone. I want to be able to be understood rather than misunderstood. So I have to use not use words like you need to and you never. Uh, because this hinders the free-flowing communication between two people. And I tend to do this a lot, so this is one of the things I have to work harder on. In slide four, background and behavioral blend, my dispersonality type is DC or CD. The D stands for dominant and demanding, determined. The C is competent, cautious, and careful. And I many times am, I have been accused of being too aggressive or too controlling, too direct. I have to tone down my speaking voice so I don't sound so harsh. Um, I think my military background has definitely influenced this. Uh, I was a sergeant in the Air Force and I, how I act and respond to others is based around how I had to be the boss and giving orders. And I feel like I'm more demanding of others and I don't really want to appear that way. Um, but I think this is based on the perception that people have of me rather than who I really am. In slide five, the barriers uh, are the biggest one is for me is emotions and my desire to participate in conversations. Also gender differences and even Alzheimer's disease. My emotions are very difficult to break through and they've always been a part of who I am. And I experience this a lot when I am talking with my siblings concerning my mother who has Alzheimer's. Um, I realized that effectively communicating with someone with Alzheimer's takes a lot of skill because their cognitive ability is uh, not there. And then even uh, gender differences play a significant role because when I'm trying to relate to my brother uh, and sisters concerning these issues, I tend to fall apart and get emotionally charged in the situation and that's one of the biggest things that I have to control is my emotions when I'm communicating with someone especially if it's something that I don't agree with. In slide six the internal and external noise pollution are things internal internal noises are like stinking thinking things are in your head runaway thoughts daydreaming um, when you're talking to somebody trying to think ahead of the person that is talking uh, external noises would be distractions around me, uh, other people, television, telephones, just anything that's on the outside externally. Uh, the solutions to these kinds of internal and external noises would simply be just to be able to improve your listening skills. I need to stay focused on the immediate issues and not get distracted by the things around me. In slide seven uh, is basically my plan of action. And my plan of action is simply to become more comfortable with who I am as a person. I have to put myself in other person's shoes without prejudging them. I have to respect the opinions of others, even when it's not the same opinion as mine. And I must also maintain a positive attitude when approaching negative situations. 
I think I will use the irrational approach that Burley Allen talks about where you have to decrease the resistance that I encounter and increase the possibility that the person I'm talking to will want to listen to me. So in order to do that, I have to make sure that I am sending out the right uh, vibes. I'm sending out the right messages. I will also try to hear the other person's opinion without getting overly emotional. Since I have a difficulty dis dealing with resistance, I must employ a wider range of responses and behaviors in order to be more in control in difficult situations. When dealing with trying to communicate with my siblings, I must consider factors such as our emotional independence with each other and our psychological dependence, especially when we're dealing with um, a situation like with my mother and her Alzheimer's.